What you're looking at right now is not an AI-generated video, but this is. Could you tell the difference? I mean, now that you know, you might start picking up on tiny clues that give it away, but think about it. Would you even guess if I haven't tipped you off? Okay, so do you remember your first time when you used ChatGPT? That first answer it generated for you was mind-blowing, right? In a world filled with smart technology, from wearable tech to self-driving cars, whatever ChatGPT is doing still seems like magic. Think about Google Assistant or Siri. It's completely different. Yeah, okay, if you mention an event, they can open a calendar and set the event for you. You mentioned weather, it can tell you what the temperature is or whether you should take your umbrella with you. But tell it to, for example, write an essay, and they will ask, well, did you want me to open a notebook for you? Now, if you ask ChatGPT or Gemini to write a complex essay on global inequality and climate change, it will say, no problem, just give me 15 seconds. 10 if you paid for GPT-4. Then came the advent of AI in visual arts, with tools like Midjourney and Dali creating highly realistic images. Yeah, it took a few generations to get it right, but eventually they did. And AI didn't stop there. It ventured into music, producing tunes that, while not perfect, are undeniably musical. I was walking down the street, minding my own business. When I saw you, it was like a dream, a perfect vision. And someone was like, okay, if we can do that, what if we can also generate AI videos? And they did try, but this is what they came up with. <laughs> it could give you nightmares. It's so bad that nobody attempted that anymore for quite a while. There were also those attempts, but we quickly realized that it's just a little bit of motion added to a stationary picture. That's it. Nothing special. This perceived limitation was somewhat reassuring for video creators. It seemed we were safe for now from being overtaken by AI in our craft. That was until a video generated by Sora AI went viral on Twitter, capturing our collective imagination with its... quality. The most popular clip features a stylish woman walking down a neon-lit Tokyo street. The level of detail is staggering. Accurate lighting, realistic materials, even reflections are on point. Though, if you scrutinize, you'll notice quirks like background characters that move unnaturally, and the reflections in the puddles exhibit inconsistent frame rates. It's still impressive, but slightly off if you look too closely. Another compelling demonstration features a group of golden retriever puppies frockling in the snow. The AI's ability to accurately render the puppy's fur, the playful movements and the dynamic snow interactions is nothing short of captivating. This example underscores the AI's proficiency in simulating real-world physics, resulting in visuals that almost perfectly mimic reality. And it's not just about animals and scenic views. Take this video, for example. The prompt was, a young man in his 20s is sitting on a piece of cloud in the sky reading a book. The execution? Nearly flawless. The realism in the textures, the lighting, shadows, it's all incredibly convincing. And then there's the video inspired by a movie trailer. A 30-year-old spaceman with a red wool knitted helmet. The attention to detail is astonishing. From the intricate facial expressions to the fabric texture of the helmet, enhanced by a cinematic film grain effect. This piece highlights the AI's potential to generate visuals that rival professional movie production quality. Sam Altman has been showcasing more of these on Twitter, responding to people's requests for AI-generated videos. It's worth checking out to see the range of what's possible. But here's where it gets tricky. These AI-generated videos are so good they can pass as real to the unsuspecting eye. This raises ethical concerns, especially in sensitive contexts like elections or misinformation campaigns. The challenge we're facing today is that, historically, Information on the internet required a degree of verification to be considered credible. It needed to be rooted in reality, crafted by human hands. But with AI's entrance onto the scene, things have taken a turn. AI, while often inspired by genuine snippets of data, draws its knowledge from the vast expanse of the internet. This creates a cycle where it both consumes and contributes information, blurring the lines between fact and fiction. The question then arises, how do we discern the authenticity of what's posted online, what's real, and what's fabricated by AI? Consider our situation from the perspective of older generations. 
Our parents and grandparents were accustomed to a world where printed materials underwent rigorous verification by publishers. Trust was placed in the radio broadcasts and television programs they consumed, backed by a team dedicated to fact-checking. Any slip-ups necessitated public corrections holding those in charge accountable. Now the landscape has drastically changed. The internet has become a modern-day Wild West, teeming with unverified and potentially misleading information. This shift poses a significant challenge for those who grew up with traditional media. They often find it hard to grasp that not everything shared on platforms like Facebook is true. This skepticism extends from posts and articles to images and now even videos. For instance, just a few weeks ago, a grandmother mistook the events from Grand Theft Auto game for actual news. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh. <laughs> so what is it good for now? this level of quality. Remember when I said the internet is like Wild West? I also used a Sora clip as a stock footage. Did you catch that? Do you mind? Advertisements, presentations, even PowerPoints needing specific visuals can benefit from this technology. It's already at a point where it could replace the need for hiring drone pilots or licensing footage from photographers and videographers. That's a game changer, but it also brings up questions about the future of those professions. It's a double-edged sword, incredible technology with the power to create and the potential to disrupt. Of course, I can just use a clip like this in my YouTube videos. Most of you won't mind that, right? It can serve its purpose at visualizing stuff that I'm talking about, making my videos more entertaining to watch instead of just my head talking to the camera. But I don't think that it's at the stage where a brand like Coca-Cola or Apple could use those visuals in their keynotes and ads. However mind-blowing it is right now, it's still far from perfect. Here are some examples that the team working on this project was kind enough to share. So here we see the guy running backwards on a treadmill. Maybe it could pass as a metaphor, maybe. But this is where it gets really weird. It looks normal at first, but then you see puppies spawning in one place, almost cloning themselves like some microorganism. Bacteria, each of us becomes two more. Bacteria, we are stronger than before. Bacteria. And this is my favorite example. It gets worse each time I play it. From a creepy facial expression to all hands doing weird things like they always do in AI-generated content to candle lights defying the laws of physics. This certainly isn't a pleasant video to look at. Though at the same time I remember, this is where we started. <coughs> so what's the takeaway from all this? Well, to put it simply, so I say game changer in video creation. Well, it's impressively powerful, capable of fooling us with its generated content, and it brings a ton of potential to the table. Now, does this mean that AI is replacing human creativity? Can it truly innovate beyond what it's been taught? That's a big question, and honestly, we're just scratching the surface of what's possible. I'll drop some links below for you to dive deeper into Sora and everything OpenAI has been working on. And who knows, maybe next year we'll take a look back at this moment, amazed at how far we've come. And maybe those wolf pups won't be popping out of thin air anymore. Remember, this is just the beginning. This is the worst that this tech is gonna be. So, thanks for tuning in. I am real, you're now miles ahead, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.